Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to perform the motion capture, the mockup, just by using your camera or any of the MP4 video to perform the motion capture for your Unreal Engine 5. And start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you can just go to my video description. And then, in the video description, I already put the workflow summary here, the summary of the video. And this is just a very simple reference. The first, you have to use your webcam to capture an MP4, an MP4 video. All right. So now I already have a sample here, a sample video, you can see. This is just a simple video. And later, we are going to use this, this MP4 video as demo to perform the motion capture and finally, it is going to import into your Unreal Engine 5 so that you can apply in any of your Unreal Engine 5 avatar just by retargeting on any of the avatar in UE5 game project. And next, you have to download the Unreal Engine 5, of course, and then get into the plus video motion capture for free. This is the website the plus.ai. So click into this link first. Right. Now you can see this is just a website. You have to sign in. Click sign in. And for this time, I'm going to log into log in with Google. Now done already. You can see once we can see sign out here. That means you already sign in. And then click get started. Right. According to this workflow, you have to import your MP4 into Plus AI, and then download the FBX motion file. So now we are in the step one here. So this is the tutorial. You can just close it first. Importing the file, you can take up to 3 minutes. Now, not yet. Just refresh it first. And wait for a while until it finished loading. Right. Once done already, it is at here. So next, what you're going to do is just drag in your sample video. Drag into this part and drop. Extract mockup from the video, you have to click confirm. Now it is loading the video. You have to wait for a while. <clears throat> it is reading the whole video. Right, next. Next step is to extract the motions. You can just choose the part of the video that you want to, to extract. Maybe only for this part. This is along the whole timeline from first frame to the last frame. Right. Now, I only want to have this part. Let, let it perform the mockup for this part. Then I click Extract Motions. And then the extracted motions, I'm going to name it as Dance 01. For example, this is just an example. I click OK. It can take up to one minute extracting the mocap. This is why you have to wait for a few seconds. Right now, it done already. You can see dance zero one is here, so you have to click the the little arrow here for a mannequin. Click it to expand. Right now, it, it is nothing here. Then you have to drag the dance zero one into mannequin like this. Then importing the file, it can take up to 3 minutes. You have to wait for this. Right. Once done already, you have to click it here, check your mannequin. You have a dance zero once, click it here. Once you click the dance zero one, you can see you drag into here, you can just preview it. Right. This is exactly Exactly the, the motion that already captured by the AI. 
So what you are going to do is just right click the dance drill once and click export. Click export here. It is exporting the file. You have to wait for a while. It can take up to three minutes, but it is usually less than three minutes. All right now you can see within a few seconds the download the downloading process is starting. You can see a Mana Queen FBX is downloading. You have to wait for a while until the finished download. Now just left a few seconds, finish downloaded. This is a Google Chrome browser, so I will click here, show in folder. Now once it, it is downloaded, it is inside the download folder, manaqueen.fbx. So this one, I'm going to rename it, press F2 to rename it, or just click again. Name it as dance 01. The name, you have to name it properly. All right. So you back to the video description. We already finished the step one, mp4 to plus.ai download the FBX motion file. Next, you have to import the plus AI icon 8 cc 4i avatar to icon 8. What you are going to, to download is this one. Check my video description, download the plus AI ic4 cc4 ic8.i avatar. This is a download link. This is a Google Drive download link. And also here, the, SIK, the SKM Queen simple Dot I avatar. You need these two avatar to perform the retargeting process. Right, so now once you already download it, you, you have to put it uh, somewhere. You need to use it anytime. Uh, this is the dance zero once. I'm going to put it on my desktop as demo. Now I can close the plus.ai website. I will put here control V. So just now this is your sample video. And now you already you already performed the mockup and this is the FBX motion file. I already download the plus AI icon 8 cc 4i avatar and also the SKM Queen Simple. This two. Right, next you check your video description. The next step is open the icon 8. I'm going to open the icon 8. Search here. Okay, now the icon 8 already opened. I will just close this. And next, what we are going to do is you can check your video description, the FBX motion file to plus AI IC4 CC4.i avatar. So first you must apply your avatar into icon, which one? The plus AI icon 8 CC4.i avatar. Drag into here. And next Drag in the dance01.fbx. Just drag in, drag and drop into this avatar. And then click convert all. Now check in icon 8. You can see this avatar already, already have the mockup that you performed just now. Alright, everything looks perfect. What we are going to do is click the window, workplace, go to the animation. And then at here you click to fit to window. You can see this is the motion clip dance zero once. Right click it, save the motion clip, save it on your desktop, save it as RL motion file. I'm going to name this as dance zero one. It will become a, an icon motion file. Save it. Now, now I can I can close the icon it already. Now you can see. This is the RL motion file. The revolution motion file is here. And next, you already done this safe motion clip as RL motion. Next is the SKM Queen Simple dot down to character creator four. Once you already download this, the SKM Queen Simple. All right. Open your CC4. The character creator four point zero one. Wait for a while, now it is loading. Now the CC4 
the character creator 4 already loaded. I'm going to close this. And then, the next step, what you are going to do is just drag in, drag in the SKM Queen simple dot Drag in, drag into your CC4. And then next, click File Export FBX Cloth Character. This is the final step that we are going to export it as FBX so that you can import it into your Unreal Engine 5.0.1. So the target to preset of exporting the FBX, you have to choose Unreal. The FBX option, you choose the motion motion only and then use the custom open it is on my desktop the dance01.rl motion this is the resolution motion file double click it we only want to export this and then click export click ok and and now we are going to export it on desktop width right click new folder on, on my desktop cc4 to unreal right this is the folder it is on my desktop cc4 to unreal the file name i have to name it as dance 01 this is the one that we are going to import into unreal engine 5 as animation sequence so we click save check here this is the FBX file so the final step I'm going to open my Unreal Engine 5 click here Epic Game Launcher right here I choose Unreal Engine 5.0.1 and launch it now the Unreal Engine 5 is launching just wait for a while Okay, now it finished loading, and then as demo, I'm going to create create a new game, a third person game. The project name I'm going to name it as plus. Dot AI plus AI to do E5 demo zero one right now. We just test it, just test it by using a third person game project. I click create. Now it is creating a new game project. Just be patient, wait for a while here. This is just a demo. And everything will start from a fresh new project. And I'm going to show you how how are we going to, to import the dance zero one motions. Now finish loading. This is the third person template. If you click play, this is the default avatar. The default avatar here. So we are going to import for the default avatar that is under the contents character mana queen meshes. That avatar is SKM Queen Simple. If you double click, you can see this avatar is the default avatar. So any of the retargeted motion we are going to base on SKM Queen Simple to make everything simple. Right. Next. I will just create a new folder here. Name it as animation. Then double click in. Now this this folder is still empty. So I'm going to drag in. Drag in the CC4 to Unreal Dance 01 motions. Drag into this is the FBX bar. FBX bar, I'm going to drag into here to import it. And then the skeletons you must choose properly. Choose the SK Mana Queen. Right. The animation length you have to choose animated time. This is really important. Do not make any mistake here. And then click import all and just wait for a while. Now it is importing the dance 01 motions. And it, it will automatically retarget it on your SKM Queen. Just wait for a while. SKM Queen Simple is almost ready. Once you already done the importing, it is going to show a message now. You can just close it. Now, you can see this is just an animation sequence in Unreal Engine 
5.0.1 it automatically retargeted already if you double click it you can see the skm queen simple already been retargeted as this does zero one motion everything look perfect and this is just the starting it is already in your unreal engine 5 and of course if you want to use you can just use it now if you try to play play the game and you can see this avatar already performed the motion at here. This is an animation sequence. And of course you can just right click and retarget on any other any other avatar in your Unreal Engine 5.0.1. So once you already can get the SKM Queen Simple animation sequence, you can make everything, you can retarget any avatar in your Unreal Engine 5. And you already done this done this mock-up and that is just the final step to finish all the required tools that I given to you you can find in your video descriptions in my de video description you can just download it one by one to save your time all right that's all for today about how to perform the motion capture just by using your camera to capture an mp4 video and then make it as an animation sequence in your Unreal Engine 5. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all. So that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy animation and game developing. See you.